Maril Belanger's stock and trade is communicating, debating, convincing. Mr. Belanger, can you, can you tell us why you wanted to be speaker? I wanted to be speaker in order to be able to fully devote my parliamentary knowledge and expertise to the service of the House of Commons and its members. But now, this is the only way he can talk, a computer generator that communicates stilted answers in both French and English. At 3.30, we're going to a senior's residence, yeah, right? Milanger has been an MP for 21 years. At the end of the fall campaign, his voice started to fail. He and the people around him thought it was a cold or possibly a small stroke. But the diagnosis was devastating. ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. It's incurable and relentless, attacking every muscle in the body. <laughs> Belanger is already barely able to walk, his voice silenced, trapped. He's there 100%, uh, his, his, his brain functions and everything, everything is, is there 100%. Belanger had always wanted to be the Speaker of the House of Commons, and it seemed after the election the votes were there but he had to pull out of the race when he learned the news. Now MPs of all stripes want to see him sit as speaker in the chair occupied by Jeff Regan, even if only for a few minutes. It speaks to his courage, to his fierce passion for this magnificent institution that's Parliament. And I'm your representative. Belanger had always been known as a defender of minority Francophone rights, a hands-on MP for his riding. And I will never stop working for the people of Ottawa Bank. It's a heartbreaking journey, emotionally and physically, but Maurel Belanger will be speaker tomorrow, however fleetingly. I thank you all. Serving his fellow MPs in the house he loves. Mm -hmm. Julie Van Dusen, CBC News, Ottawa. Mm -hmm.